there's a handful of niches out there that are truly evergreen that are going to be selling year after year, month after month, week after week. We'll never go out of business. And one of those is guaranteed technology. Tech. Technology. Technology evolves every single minute. There's always something new coming out. There's a different variation. Back in the day, we had iPods that would come out with more and more storage every single year. Today, we have phones that do that and more with practically unlimited storage at this point. There's always something new that's coming out and people always want the latest tech, no matter what. You have to keep up with the latest technology. Today's video is gonna be focused on some of the top electronics items that you should be drop shipping in 2024. These are all items that are proven best sellers and some that are expected to have some massive demand based off of new advances that came out this year in 2023. Trust me, you wanna watch this video all the way through so that way you can stay ahead of the game and and you can get in front of everybody else when it comes to drop shipping these products. You want to be the first one to start offering these. So make sure you check out this entire video and make sure you get the cheat sheet. In that cheat sheet, I'm going to have all of the different products I'm talking about, including the different links. And if you want access to that, all you have to do is go ahead and leave a comment down below with the hashtag top tech 2024. And let me know what your favorite item is from this list. Once I see that you went ahead and did that, I'll go ahead and reply back with a link to the sheet. In total, we are going to have over 15 different suggestions for you to start drop shipping. Now, this is going to include our main items along with different variations. These are all items that are in high demand this year and people are going to be searching for left and right. This is all based on past advancements that were made last year in 2023. And trust me when I say whenever there is any slight update to any piece of tech, people want it. I'm looking at all of you iPhone users. All right. So the first item on our list is a kid's drawing tablet. I know there's tons of people out there. There's a lot of parents that are like, I'm not going to give my kids a tablet. They're not going to have an iPad, blah, blah, blah. But then the time comes and they realize that they actually need one because those kids would not shut up. I might have been one of those parents at one point, but that's beside the point. So a kid's drawing tablet is a perfect gift for any parent or any kid. You remember back in the day, we used to have those little magnetic ones that had the two knobs, you know, like the one that they had in Toy Story. Well, this is kind of like the same thing, except it's digital and it allows the kids to have creative freedom over pretty much everything on there. So these are, of course, reusable and they come in quite a few different sizes. So they have a few that come in about eight and a half inches. Some are smaller. Some are about the size of a phone. But but at the end of the day, they all have a stylus and a screen so that way the kids can stay entertained drawing throughout the entire day. Now, as far as the power supply, some of these are going to be using a battery and some of these are going to be charged through USB. But don't worry, because these have extremely low power consumption, which means the batteries are going to last for days, weeks, if not even longer. Like look at this one right here. This one actually runs on one of those watch batteries and it lasts the entire year. So these are not going to have any downtime when it comes to your kids fun. Next up, we have a portable wire wireless tire inflator. Now, this is one of those items that has evolved over time. Back maybe five or six years ago, they weren't this efficient and this sophisticated. Back then, it would be a little brick that I'm pretty sure my parents still have, but it was this little brick that you would have to plug into your car's cigarette lighter and then connect the little tube to your tire and then turn it on so that way you can start inflating the tire. Now, those were extremely slow. They would take forever. On top of that, they would make a ton of noise. Nowadays, they have more sophisticated and more advanced versions that for one, are completely wireless, so they run on a charge, they can run on battery. Two, are a lot quieter than they used to be, and three, are a lot faster than they used to be. So if you know somebody that's still using those super old school bricks when it comes to the tire inflators, this might be the perfect gift for them. Or that could be the way that you market it. Maybe you could start off a Facebook ad or a Facebook video or a TikTok video with somebody struggling with one of those old ones. And then somebody comes along, they give them a present, and they give them this tiny little tire inflator. They check it out, they're like, oh, this is pretty interesting. It's not gonna work as good as the one that I have now. Then you show them using it, they're loving it, and then it ends with, whoa, this is a lot faster than the old one or something like that. You be creative with it, but that's just a quick idea on how you can market it. Now, before we continue any further, if you're wondering where you can find more top trending, best selling products, then look no further than AutoDS. On AutoDS, we don't only provide automation. Yeah, we can automate your entire business so that way you can pretty much be hands off and not really have to spend too much time fulfilling orders or importing products. It's all done automatically. But aside from that, we also have our marketplace and our winning products hub. There's tons of resources on the AutoDS platform that can set you up for success. But for now, check out the marketplace. So right now we're talking about technology. So let's click on electronics and gadgets and let's see some of the different products that pop up. So as soon as we change our category, you can see that there's quite a few different items. I'm pretty sure you've seen a lot of these on TikTok, one of the most popular places to advertise your dropshipping store. 
store. Not just most popular, also most effective. But aside from that, you can see that there's tons of different items on here that some people on TikTok haven't even heard of. So look at this little popcorn maker machine. Pretty sure you get this. You make a video in your room in the dark while you're watching a movie, bust out this popcorn machine, make a little video, put it on TikTok, boom, that's gonna go viral. And boom, you have the potential right there to go viral and sell a ton of these different units, which actually, you know what? I might end up doing that myself. Don't take my idea, guys, it's mine. <laughs> make your own variation i'm gonna do one like that but aside from that you can see that there's a bunch of other items so you can see you can find the blenders on here you can find gaming mats rgb lights headphones earphones chargers anything you can think of you can find on here you're gonna find some pretty unique items on here as well now if you want to import some of these to your store that's also a breeze all you have to do is click on import draft choose the store that you want to import it to and that's it it'll be ready to sell in your store within minutes this next item is one that is sometimes the same year after year with a few minor differences and no i'm not talking about the iphone that is literally just the same thing year after year team android for the win but no, what I'm talking about are earphones. Now, when it comes to earphones, really the biggest difference that you're going to find from each set is going to be the battery life and the size. As far as the features, honestly, at the end of the day, most of them are going to be the same thing, aside, of course, from the audio quality. But when you're looking for different earphones to sell, these are a few things that you should keep in mind. For one, look for headphones or earphones that stand out. Also, always keep in mind the difference. When it comes to earphones, typically these are going to be the ones that fit inside your ear. And when it comes to headphones those are going to be the ones that go over your ear so always keep those two differences in mind some people might use them interchangeably i sometimes do the same thing but remember earphones in ear headphones on your head when it comes to selling different earphones one of the biggest differences that you can offer is going to be in the casing so sometimes you can find a case like this one right here which actually shows the battery life on the case itself now this is something that's really cool and it's really useful because it shows a visual representation of how much longer the user can use their earphones for now if you look at one like this you don't have that option you don't know how much longer you have when it comes to battery life you don't know pretty much anything you just know that if it doesn't work then it's either not connecting or the battery's dead so always try to offer something like this always try to offer something with a little bit of extra pizzazz if that works. Now, another thing that you need to keep in mind when it comes to earphones is that that's actually a pretty competitive market. There's a lot of people selling these. So you're going to have to go around and you're going to have to look through different suppliers to see who can give you the best pricing. If you can't find a supplier that gives you better pricing than all of the rest that you find out there, try to come up with a better bundle. Try to come up with a better offer. Offer your customers something more than what your competitors are offering. So maybe you can offer a set of earphones and you can throw in an extra charging cable or a wall plug, something along those lines. Something small like that can really go a long way. Now next up we have another one that evolves year after year and a lot of the times are kind of the same thing. But the next time on our list is definitely one that is always making a boom so to say this is one that people are always purchasing and no matter what people are always buying them year after year even if they already have one and we're talking about speakers now when it comes to speakers there's a lot of different options to choose from you have your typical bluetooth speakers so you can listen to music at the beach or at the pool or at home you have waterproof speakers that are specific for wet areas again like the beach or pool which in this case it really doesn't matter if they get splashed on because they're waterproof but you also have a few other more sophisticated variations such as in ceiling speakers speakers, which are speakers that go built into your roof or to your ceiling. So that way they sit flush on your ceiling. So you could barely see them at all. Those are actually my favorite. I think those are fantastic. Those can even be connected to something like a surround sound system. On top of that, you also have bookshelf speakers. So these are going to be the typical speakers that you have on a bookshelf or on top of a stand or in a media center, something that people typically connect to, to simply play some music. And you also have sound bars. So TV sound bars, of course, are external speakers for your TV that make it sound a lot better. Now, when it comes to this, there's even more variations. So you have things like two channels, five channels, some with a subwoofer. There's a lot of different variations when it comes to different types of speakers. So if you want to sell speakers, try to niche down, see which types of speakers are going to work best for your business and which ones work better for your brand or your store. Are you going to be selling home goods? If you're selling home goods, you can sell things like the bookshelf speakers and the surround sound speakers or the sound bar. If you're selling more electronic goods, like let's say computer parts and stuff like that, then you can also offer computer speakers, headphones or earphones or the bookshelf speakers. Now the next item on this list is going to be one of my favorites. 
and that is drones. I absolutely love drones. I think they're the coolest thing in the world. Now, these are extremely popular because a lot of people are actually starting to use them to start up their own businesses. Of course, there are also hobbyists and kids that love to play with these. So there's a wide spectrum of uses when it comes to drones. You can have some that are smaller and a bit more agile. Some people like to use them for tricks or even competitive drone racing. People also like to use these to film different videos. They like to film really cool landscapes, going through different pathways really fast, slowly moving through a scenic route, like let's say mountains or the beach or something like that to show off the view. There's a lot of different uses when it comes to drones. So they can be used for business. They can be used for fun. Some are going to have some higher quality cameras. Some are going to be bigger. Some are going to be smaller. So my suggestion to you when offering drones is to offer a little bit of every type of size. The smaller ones are going to have less better cameras for the most part, but these are going to be used more for action sports or to have fun with, to do tricks with. A lot of people aren't going to care as much if these crash into a wall or a tree or something like that. Then you also have the more expensive drones or the bigger drones, which are going to have the heavier cameras. A lot of the times these cameras are going to be either 1080p or 4K. Most of the times, a lot of people use these for those nice little scenic videos of different mountains, different views, or for photography, such as wedding photography, landscape photography, or even real estate photography. Now, when it comes to drones, you do want to be careful with a few different things. For one, you want to make sure that they're legal wherever you're selling them. There are some countries out there that do not allow drones. Some will even arrest you for flying one. But if you're selling in the US, you're not really going to have a problem selling the drones. Another thing about drones is the fact that they're actually pretty high ticket items. You can get them for pretty cheap on a website like AliExpress. Look at this one right here. It's selling for $17.36. Of course, this is the welcome deal. You could get it for $67. But at the end of the day, something like this can actually be sold for a pretty high price over $200 sometimes. All right. So this next one is going to be one that is absolutely huge. And in 2023 and in 2024, it's absolutely exploding. The technology behind this is something that's constantly advancing and it's just going to keep getting bigger and more sophisticated. And I'm talking about wearable tech. Now, what is wearable tech? Well, simply put, it's technology that you can wear. Of course, in this, we can include headphones and earphones, but we gave those its own section because that in itself is a huge niche. That's something that's huge and people are going to be selling specifically. So when it comes to wearable tech, what I'm referring to is things like smartwatches. So when it comes to smartwatches, you have a lot of different variations. You have some that are going to connect to your phone, and then you're also going to have a few others that are simply going to be just fitness trackers or some that are just going to connect to your phone. And that's pretty much it. These are going to come in different levels of technology. Some are going to be more advanced than others. Of course, the ones with more features are going to be more expensive, but you can always charge more for those as well. Another huge item when it comes to wearable tech is VR headsets. Now, of course, one of the more mainstream VR headsets has to be the Quest by Meta, but those are extremely expensive. So we're looking for something a little bit cheaper and that's not copyright. So if you look on AliExpress, you can find quite a few different types of headsets. These are all compatible with different gadgets. Some of these are going to be compatible with, let's say, a Nintendo Switch. But for the most part, the ones that you're going to be looking through here are going to be compatible with phones. And by far, one of the craziest pieces of tech that have been coming to light lately have to be smart glasses. A few years ago, there was this huge thing about Google Glasses that never came out. Then Meta came out with their own glasses and Snapchat also came out with their own glasses. And these are really the really cool. But there's also a lot of different other versions that you can find on AliExpress, CJ Dropshipping, DHgate, wherever it is that you're sourcing your products from. So they have different types of smart glasses. Some of these are going to be able to play music. Some of them are going to be able to record. Some of them, such as this one, actually have a heads up display. So as you can see, there's tons of different variations when it comes to this. And honestly, when it comes to smart glasses, this is a technology that's just getting started. So there's going to be a lot more advances going forward. But if you want to catch the wave early, then you can start checking them out right now. Now, the next item on this list is for all of those content creators out there, and that is microphones. Now, when it comes to microphones, there's no shortage, but there are different variations. A few of them have different features. Some of them have better sound quality. Some of them are a little bit more mobile. Microphones are an extremely important and crucial part to any content creators well, content. If you don't have good audio, then people are going to tune off pretty quick. Check out the difference between this and this. Can you tell the difference right now? Can you tell the difference in audio quality from the first cut to this one right here? Well, the first one was obviously with my microphone. The second one is using the microphone directly on the camera. As you can hear, there is a huge difference between the two. And that's why a lot of people choose to purchase an external microphone, whether that be for a professional camera like an SLR, a mirrorless blogging camera, or even your smartphone. There's a microphone for every single device out 
there. So when it comes to microphones, there's going to be a few different connections when it comes to the different variations. So you're going to have some like these that connect using a typical headphone jack, except these sometimes are a little bit smaller for microphones. Others are going to work for your phone with USB-C or through Bluetooth. And some others are going to work with a regular USB cable. There's also going to be different microphones for different occasions or for different recording styles. So some are going to be better to talk in a studio or in a room like I'm doing right now. Typically speaking, those are going to be some that are like this. They're going to be the standalone ones, some that you can put on a little boom. And you also have a few other ones that are like these, which are going to go on top of a camera. And for smartphones, some of the more popular ones are going to be one like the one that I have on my screen right now. So the bottom part connects to the bottom of your phone, whether that be an iPhone or an Android. And then it has a tiny little wireless microphone that you can either hold or you can just clip onto your shirt. And last but not least, the last category that we're going to talk about is going to be home security. Nowadays, crime is more rampant than ever. So you always want to make sure that your house is safe and secure. And when you're not there, you want to make sure that it's guarded. So if the unthinkable happens and somebody decides to break into your house, then you always have some sort of proof to know what happened, what's going on. And so you can call the cops. So because of that, home security is a huge player in technology right now. And honestly, it's going to be a huge player in the decades to come. One of the most popular and most useful items has to be a video doorbell. We all know about Ring from Amazon, but there's a lot more variations out there that are are going to be one cheaper and two even more efficient aside from that there's also different camera attachments that you can purchase for these different video doorbells so you can have one video doorbell as the center hub and then you can have a few different cameras around your house that all connect to the same system or to the same app and those were some of the most popular technology items that you need to be drop shipping this year in 2024 look it's still early you still have a lot of time to get in the game these items not only are extremely popular throughout the year but when it comes to the holidays then you better believe that these are going to be in some pretty high demand. So you want to make sure that your store is ready and you've already made a few sales so you can have some reviews as social proof. Now, remember, if you want access to a cheat sheet with all of the different items that I talked about in today's video, all you have to do is go ahead and comment down below hashtag top tech 2024 and let me know which one of these items was your favorite. Personally, my favorite has to be the speakers because I absolutely love sound quality. I love audio and specifying a little bit further. I have to go with the sound bars. I love TV audio. I love having great audio with video games and with movies. And with that, let me know what your favorite is down in the comments below if you want access to that cheat sheet. Huge thank you to all of you for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. If you made it this far, I'm pretty positive that you enjoyed this video. So if you did, then make sure you smash that like button and make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Again, huge thank you to everyone for watching. My name is Mario with AutoDS and I'll catch you all next time.